look, look, capture the sun, capture the sun, you see this? You see how peaceful it is over here and then you have this chaos coming in. Hey, y'all wanna go driving through the storm? <laughs> you like the real movie? What real movie? The Universal Studios one? Yeah. Actually, I really wanted to do that one as a kid. I always wanted to do something with science. But look at it. Like, I, I mean, know. I mean, I'm just saying, like, everybody's like, oh, yeah, that's what the clouds does. But I'm telling you, this shit... It just doesn't feel right, dude. It doesn't, it doesn't feel... Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it's real. Like, there's... You mean it's not God's work? Yeah. So you're saying basically it's not natural? Yeah, it's just like the creation of it. Like if you ever look, like there's been a couple of times when I see where they do the chemtrails and then you have this like, it actually really looks like the sun is at the bottom going through and you have like a shadow on the clouds. Have you ever seen that? I have. Like there's like, it's like a little space and it looks like the sun is at the bottom, you know? I know this sounds crazy and everybody's going to be like, oh, you know. But, like, really, like, what information are you getting, you know? Because they say they're scientists, is it really you're going to get that information, you know? You know what I'm saying? Because who's paying them? Who was, like, you got to do, like, research. Who's, who's buying them to do this research? Who's back behind it? Who's the one who has trillions of dollars that could possibly ever afford to pay $100,000 a day to make it not rain or rain, etc.? Yeah. And who would want to influence that? Who would want to play God and change the weather if they could? Is that just human nature? Or, you know, it's kind of, it, it boils down to, like, they, like, how the media pushes out, like, global warming and stuff. Well, how they're gonna make sell that as really, really global warming unless they do some causes effects of our environment? Yeah. So. Yo, it's gonna be so stormy. Yeah. I'm excited. We should set up the tent with the rain cover. Yeah. Careful, careful. This is exactly what happened in my accident, by the way. In the exact same spot, some random person just stops. You got a green light up ahead, and nobody's going. But look how like okay. I don't know if anybody knows when you drive somewhere look how everybody acts different towards the weather and then it's actually your mood I had this really I have been doing trials in area with this like I'll be driving somewhere and I will think of thought and then see the reaction of everybody and some like I will think of angry thought Dude, I want to sit and meditate in that area well I will sit here and and think of angry thought and then there would be some some guy, you know, or some Who channels person. that energy that you were just thinking? Yeah. Yeah. And then they will drive recklessly. Then I have to think of a kind thought. And then everybody's like, oh. But, but notice how you have the choice to choose what you're going to think of to allow yourself to create a thought pattern that just creates misery or sadness or anger. But also when these express themselves, you have to experience them. You know what I mean? Like if you have this fearful thought coming up, you can't just completely discredit it and act like it's not happening. Well, I was doing a, a test to see what, what, what happens when I think of these things. Or what, like... Just what, how, how powerful is my mind to manipulate the area around me? And then also on that same, that same spectrum is, am I just in the matrix and I'm controlling what I want to see? <laughs> yep. Isn't quantum physics great? Yeah. It's pretty fascinating. I mean, I already knew this. It's just, I just like to, I like to do a lot of experiments. Like, you don't know half the time I'm doing experiments. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Mm hmm Yeah. Pachamama. Pacha. I'm hungry. My ankle hurts. I'm grouchy. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty too. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty too. You buy me water. Okay. Not you, them. <laughs> <laughs> you buy us water. It's a dollar. Send 83 cents. For a gallon of water that is clean and how I prefer it, also known as distilled.
No, I don't want to boil my water and then drink it. Because it has like chlorine and all these other nasty things in it. Actually, so you get a reverse osmosis. I just want a distilled water machine. I know, there's police everywhere. Stop it, you're gonna, I'm trying so hard not to talk about on my channel what happened today. So I'm trying to let you do it first. I'll talk about it after you talk about it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Gotcha. Got you. Holding that space for you to shine. But yeah, that makes me really emotional, dope. And you gotta keep pointing it out how all the cops are out after that, okay? Our cute little tiny city, the city of Saints, St. Saint Augustine. Okay. Frustrating. Mm, I wouldn't consider this city a saint. There's been a lot of massacres. Yeah, why do you think that is? Mm. This is like one of the most sacred energy spaces. Like that's why it's connected to the ley lines of um the Bermuda Triangle. I don't know if you know that. Well, there's a lot of people. In Casadega, like there's a couple spots in Florida that are very um energetically symbolic. Up there. Is it? Yeah. Heck yeah. Get up in there. But there's a lot of other places that... You know, do you feel all the energies right now? I'm feeling like maybe we should go live or something. Something's feeling weird. I don't know, I'm kind of tired and fussy. But I know that Miss Bird would join us and things like that. I'm feeling her energy strong. I'm feeling like a lot of people need some, like, push right now. Yeah, but it's hard to give them that push when I'm barely... Like, I'm not really feeling pushed right now, you know? Yeah. Well, you yeah, have yeah. Speaking trying, of which, we're about to go do that video. Yeah. And I'm trying to, like, help you recruit, you know, that's why all of you do the necessary things. Okay. Yeah. See, so how do you feel about whipping out that massage table and us doing that? I mean, I can give you a massage. But I'm thinking also the energy work. With crystals and stuff. Yeah, listen to it. You should really fix the tent. I just remember tomorrow at 7 o'clock is usually my study group. That's alright. I don't know what's going to happen with Justice, but we'll find out. Yeah, that sound. Dude, yeah, there's like this dark aura over our city right now. It just doesn't feel right. Like the bad energy? Yeah, because I wouldn't have that dream if there wasn't. You wouldn't have what you right. had if there wasn't, you know? There's a lot of psychic attack. Slightly. Want to elaborate? Sorry, I had a really messed up dream that had a certain figure from a certain element. He is from a certain element. He's not, he appears when things are gonna go wrong. And I'm telling you, he, he has gray skin. The gray is like aliens. I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like he's an alien. I feel like he's like... A demon? In a way, yeah. Well, Michael would tell you how the grays are demons. Well, I, I guess so, that they are. And they, I'm pretty sure the grays have shark teeth. Well, his face always changed, but this guy, like, he wow. had, like, he had, like, like, he had, um, wheat growing out of him. Like, he was disguised in the wheat, and it's sort of Like changed. a scarecrow. Kind of like, but I see him. Nobody else could see him. You know? Huh. But then it wasn't me that was seeing him. Like, I was watching through other people's eyes. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm never there. I'm always, like, even, I'm like a camera above you. Yeah. Do you understand? You're astral projecting or remote viewing or um, lucid dreaming. There's a bunch of different names for it. Dude, that place is so good to eat at. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so that happened. Sarah's like, I don't care about food or water. What? Go ahead. And anyways, how Come that happened is like, you know, yeah, that person like kind of banished them back wherever they came from with fire and then I woke up. Like, because she breathed fire. That's what she did. Like, that was her powers to breathe fire, you know? And it was just like, and like I saw the fire like coming out and then I woke up and I was just like, hey, that's weird. I need to get out, you know? You know? It was, it was really neat. It was kind of hot in a way, but 
But then again, like that person was like me, but it wasn't me at the same time. You like, you understand? I do. Because I'm never in the dream. It's just I see whatever. That's why my dreams are very sacred to me. Because it's not like, you know, certain people have like their psychic abilities. Like they can know when somebody's upset or they can know when something's about to go wrong. Me, if I have dreams, I know when something, you know. Maybe you should try to like um, meditate and like kind of take a nap almost. But with the intention of closing your eyes of intention of seeing and focus on him. I don't want to know. He won't come back. He will come back later on. I know, but you can ask him questions and he will answer you. I'm not trying to talk to him, dude. Like, he showed up three times in my But dream. you might want to get to know him and figure out why he's using you as a vessel of understanding. It's all part of the shadow work. Remember, demons come to you in the shape of angels, too. Well, I know that. But my dreams are... But what's the shadow worker's job is to transmute the dark energy into positive energy. So these things that come to you so you can turn them into light beings again. And clearly he's showing you information. But it's part of his karma. Um, it's no. part of your karma. I couldn't... I kind of discuss this with myself. Why are you got to have your, like, uh... Because you're having a hard time driving the rain of a thing. You're not supposed to do that. Um... I know, I know what he is. He's from, like, that's why I said he's from a different realm. Yeah, the elemental realm. The el uh, elemental. I know, I can feel it. Alright, what else? And it's more of, like, he's, like, battling. He, I, I would say he's battling the light workers, but he's helping me predict certain things that come in. Because it's part of his karma. Because he wants to clean up. But it's also testing you how you'll use your powers. Well, he's coming during the um, harvest season. And that's kind of connecting with the... But there's symbolism of that harvesting for souls, you know? Yeah. And he could be like, damn, dang it, darn. Yo, I feel all the energy of all the fear. Yeah, that just got goosebumps when he said he's harvesting souls, so he might be harvesting. So, that's what I'm saying. It feels like things like that. And that's how you know that you're connected to the dark energies because you're having fearful and depressive thoughts sometimes. I mean, sometimes it's also connected to, like, obvious things. Like, for me, I'm really psyched out about surgery and, like, um, you know, all the things that our friend was talking about today. Well, so, of course, it's, it's like, obvious that I'm going to feel the way I do, you know? Well, sometimes... Look how beautiful it is suddenly over here, all sunshine. I know. What's the symbolism of that? Sometimes oh, look at this. Sometimes I feel like uh, I'm supposed to see those types of things to get people born. Yep. In a way. Yep, but you're also being given a chance to choose a side. Well, it's not like there's no side that was given to me. It's just what I am. But so, well, you have a choice to always change that, you know? I don't it's just I am. I may have done things in the past, but I am. I can tell you that there's targeted areas that have select electromagnetic energy. Because some things are not meant for us. That's why we're so all come together, you know? Like, I know. That's why, you, that's why I called that out. Did you notice how we're safe over here on this side? But then over there, there's all that dark energy. Like the green lantern, man. In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might do me own power. Green lantern's light. Hello. Hello. It's trying to put oil in my car. Hello. Feel free to send love, kindness, energy, and any types of forms of appreciation you feel you have the ability to do. Thank you so much for your time. We will be making videos shortly. I love you very much. Thank you. Namaste. Javaguan.